so to solve this problem first we have to find out the concentration of sodium hydroxide from the from the neutralization of reaction of um, sodium hydroxide with HCl and using that concentration we will have to find out the concentration of um, of the phosphoric acid solution so let's first uh, find uh, the concentration of sodium hydroxide in reaction with HCl and to do that here we are given um, the the concentration and the volume of HCl which are the concentration of HCl is 0 0.189 molar or mole per liter and we are given the volume of HCl required for the neutralization is 19.6 milliliter or we will write that as 0 0.0196 liter and if we just multiply this together the concentration at the volume we know that we get the number of moles of HCl which will be 0 0.0037 mole HCl <clears throat> now if we look at the reaction equation for NaOH and HCl it will react as, as um, Na plus of oh, NaCl plus H2O so that means uh, one mole HCl is reacting with one mole sodium hydroxide and that means the, this much mole HCl will react with same number of moles of sodium hydroxide so in the neutralization reaction we will have the number of moles of sodium hydroxide as this so also 0 0.0037 mole now we are given the volume of the sodium hydroxide as um, 25 milliliter that means if we just divide the number of moles by the volume as liter 25 milliliter means 0 0.025 liter and then we will get the concentration of the sodium hydroxide here which will be 0 0.148 mole per liter or molar NOH so this is the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution we have just found out from its neutralization reaction with HCl <clears throat> and then um, so in the second titration or the titration with the phosphoric acid we are um, in the neutralization we had to add 34.9 ml of sodium hydroxide that means we are adding 0 0.0349 liter of sodium hydroxide and as you have found the concentration of sodium hydroxide from the first one that means if we just multiply that concentration here which is 0 0.148 molar or mole per liter so from this product we will get the number of moles of sodium hydroxide in reaction with phosphoric acid so this product will give us 0 0.0051 mole NaOH which will react with the phosphoric acid and so and we have to now we have to set up the reaction equation for phosphoric acid with sodium hydroxide phosphoric acid H3PO4 will react with sodium hydroxide 
to form any three pure four plus H2O. So we have to balance this equation and for the balance you can see that we have three sodium here. That means we'll have to put a three here and um, we have in total three and one four hydrogen and two what uh, and we have four water here that's four water we have three oxygen here so that means we have to put another three here so we'll have in total six hydrogen and we have um three and three six hydrogen and three oxygen and four oxygen total seven oxygen so yeah now we have the equation balanced that means that one mole h3po4 will react with three mole sodium hydroxide or three mole sodium hydroxide will react with one mole h3po4 that means this much mole of sodium hydroxide will react with um, 0 0.0051 over 3 mole of H3PO4 and if we just the value of this will give us we just write it here it will be 0 0.00172 mole of H3PO4 so now we know the number of mole of H3PO4 and we know how much volume of H3PO4 we required for the neutralization which is 10 ml volume we added or used for phosphoric acid. So what we need to do, we have to just divide this mole by the volume of H3PO4 and then we'll get the concentration of H3PO4 or the phosphoric acid. So we just divide this by the The number of moles 0 0.00172 mole over the volume of STP of which is 10 ml or 0 0.010 liter and from here we'll get 0 0.172 mole per liter or molar H3PO4 so this is the required concentration of the phosphoric acid we are looking for here